What's up weirdos? Austin McBroom is a very bad haircut. I- sorry. Uh, person. We're gonna ignore what happened to my hair. I didn't ask for this, by the way, but we're gonna get- uh, It's gonna grow back. This is not a lifestyle choice. This is a mistake that I did not ask for. Anyways, we're talking about Austin McBroom and how he actually sucks so much. He's terrible, and there's this new arc that he's going on that I kinda wanna- I kinda wanna talk about. Because he started out as this super famous, like, family vlogger, which I think there's no ethical way to family vlog. In my opinion, his career was full of controversies, like cheating scandals, scamming, lying, and a lot worse, and I'm gonna get into that. But he's had, like, this Austin mcbroom -assance. All you can drink lemonade, all you can drink horchata. He's a meme now. People like him and they think he's funny and they're like posting videos and edits of him as if he's like just some relatable. Oh, he's so me. And every time I see something like that, a little bit of me dies inside because I know what he has done and I do not like to see him portrayed in this. Ooh, he's so cute. He's so baby girl like. He's not baby girl. And take that from me. Somebody who used to be until they lost it all. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to keep moving on. That The video's not about the hair. I want to start off by showing some tweets real quick so you can get an understanding of where Austin McBroom is in the social media zeitgeist right now. Austin McBroom's Snapchat story is the only thing keeping me entertained. Pure comedy. Austin McBroom's Snapchat stories be so entertaining. Austin McBroom on his Snapchat singing lover is killing me with this video. <laughs> Just wanted to put that up there just for a second. Just take that in, simmer that. Vibe it. Really, really dig on it. And then remember that feeling. He's 31 years old and you saw that video. Yeah. And I get it. If that's just a 31 year old guy, it can be funny to like be like, ah, so me. The thing is, he has these skeletons in his closet that do not allow like growth and a resurgence of your vibe. I hate that I just said that sentence. Oh my God. I hate that so much. Okay, move on. I'm going to show you some more clips right now from his Snapchat era, which is who he's trying to rebrand himself as. Like, this is the persona that he wants to be known for. You don't own no McDonald's. Every single video is like, I'm gonna show you one more before I say something. Awesome. This is a stupid idea, it's all your fault. My this is your idea. Okay, okay. I'm never listening to you again. This man is too funny. The face. Rick, 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 Rick and Marty, Rick and Marty. <laughs> is he ever with his kids anymore? That's who he is. That's the persona that he wants to be known for. He wants to be this like, oh, that's so me, relatable, crazy, zany, meme guy. He's going for the reaction meme market and he's getting it. Look, look, this video has 128,000 likes, 7,000 thousand bookmarks me when my friends and I plan to stalk him while we is out but we get caught oh man that's so funny would you be putting that text over his face if you knew what he had done though I don't know if you would so I'm gonna keep bringing these clips back up so that you're remembering who he's trying to portray himself as while I show you the things that he has done don't laugh because I think seeing what he's doing now with what he has done in the past sheds a new light on this manipulative loser. And by the way, I know it sounds crazy for me to be saying that stuff, but once you see the stuff that I show you, like he is a manipulative loser. I'm gonna start with the lightest stuff, by the way. Austin McBroom is a cheater. Cheated on his wife all the time. By the way, how can you have a wife and family and that's your entire career and you just cheat on your wife? How do you do that? How to have a wife and cheat on her? How do you do that? I just keep seeing myself in the monitor. We have to move past this. Like, I know you're still looking at it. Please ignore it. It's gonna grow back, I swear to God. But this is just one tweet, one time, of the many, 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 many instances of him cheating on his wife. But uh, Tana Mojil said one time Austin McBroom was cheating on Catherine with a random B-I-T-C-H and she left a lipstick in his car. Then I was sitting with Jake in the car and he gets a FaceTime. It's from Austin crying and Catherine yelling, is this Tana's lipstick? Austin says it is. It wasn't. But I lied for the sake of the children and said it was, shaking my head. Happy fight day, Team Bryce on God. So you can tell when this was tweeted out. Anyways, Tana. Now, I know that Tana is messy. I know that she's messy. But just because somebody is messy doesn't mean we can't trust them. And by the way, this was coming out in a wave of people talking about Austin McBroom cheating. I just wanted to use the Tana one because it's funny. Austin McBroom did reply to that tweet, though, and said, Cap to the biggest clout chaser of them all. And it was actually Erica Castell's lipstick, dummy. I was taking Jake and her back to Jake's house. This lame-ass lie ain't gonna save the attention that your little boyfriend Bryce is about to get for his ass whooping. Oh, this is when Austin McBroom and Bryce Hall fought each other. Oh! Which obviously, as you can see, Austin did beat Bryce Hall in that match, but beating Bryce Hall in a boxing match is like walking into the Make-A-Wish Foundation and picking your opponent from there. Honestly, though, all jokes aside, like just being dead serious, if there was a boxing match between Bryce Hall and a 14-year-old girl with leukemia, I'm putting $1,000 on the girl. But when you look up Austin McBroom cheating, one of the first things you see is this tweet that he put out on October 15th, 2019, two years before he denied cheating to with Tana. Not with Tana, but you get it. He said, I would like to start off by saying that me and my family are taking this situation 
position very seriously on the allegations that have been brought upon me. Like I mentioned already, we're taking legal action to handle this matter of extortion. What is this matter, you might be thinking? Is this just a cheating scandal? Seems kind of interesting to bring up extortion. Was he being blackmailed? Uh, no, this is in regards to an essay allegation against him. That's right, this guy. All you can drink lemonade, all you can drink horchata. About an allegation of that crime, yeah. Now, here's the thing. In a video like this, you might be expecting me to go, Austin McBroom definitely did it. Austin McBroom is a loser. Austin McBroom is guilty. So this is Cole Kerrigan, a YouTuber. And Cole posted this video. It has since been deleted. This is a re-upload. The title was The Truth About the Ace Family. And in it, he dropped some very serious allegations about a essay experience, which was not his story. In this video, Cole tells a story that he heard from other people about a group, including Austin McBroom and like associates and even Austin's dad, about how these girls were very, very, very drunk and don't remember consenting. And Austin McBroom and his dad and like friends, you know what this means. Anyways, in this video, Cole shows that he's been DMing Keemstar. So automatically red flag. Anyways, Keemstar says, hey, Cole, can I get yourself for a quick chat? I'm looking at the numbers right now. I don't know why. Cole just docks himself. Like anyways, Cole's number, then scared. Keemstar says, don't be, call you in 10. Then Cole shares text that he had with Keemstar where Cole said, so how much did they pay you to not make a video? Dead emoji. Keem says $500,000. This is all happening before Cole made this video, by the way. All this to say, this story goes out, it blows up. But let me show you what happened after Cole Kerrigan posted this video. First of all, Cole eventually deleted the video. Second of all, the victim whose story is being told in this video posted this on her Instagram. To speak on this video that Cole Kerrigan posted, some of you have already figured out that I'm the other girl they're talking about in the video. I feel like this video was made for the wrong reasons and this wasn't Cole's story to tell. Cole even texted me saying we could potentially get paid $100,000 from this. Following the claim, the drama alert was paid off $500,000. I wasn't aware Amanda or Cole were in contact with drama alert to anonymously run our story. I was aware of Cole's video being made and I only wanted it to be factual if it was ever going to be posted. I wanted to say that Austin McBroom is not to blame in the situation and did not SA me or anyone. I'm currently handling the situation in my own way. I brought this to social media to address the false accusations. This isn't what I wanted. There's several sides to every story and this isn't how I wanted to tell mine. Then the second side of her post was her sharing a screenshot of her texts with Cole Kerrigan, the guy who made that video. She said, hey, sorry I didn't hear you out. You caught me off guard texting me and I overreacted. Cole said, yeah, no, I get a no worries. Big blockout text. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it's just personal information that she doesn't want to have shared. Anyways, he continues, enough proof. But the point of this is not to upload a video. The point of this is to scare them into paying us off because they pay drama alert 500k. So I'm sure they would pay me 100k or more not to say shit. Then I would split it with you guys if you guys help me and send me all the receipts that I need. Interesting, Cole. Very, very interesting. So Cole heard this story, heard that there was a famous person and decided to make a video about it because he thought that he could get paid a lot of money. By the way, that he would get the $100,000 and then split that with you guys. If you help me and send me all the receipts and stuff that I need. As if he is the party that's important here. Incredible loser, leech, scammer, clout, goblin behavior from that. Absolutely insane. By the way, she says clearly in her post in no uncertain terms that Austin McBroom is not to blame in this situation and did not essay her or anyone. And yet the title of Cole's video is The Truth About the Ace Family. But what I want to say is that this is a very muddy water situation that does not look good if you are Austin McBroom. At best, he cheated on his wife with a bunch of people. At worst, they're like, worse. Also, while I was doing research for this video, I want to point out these two tweets right here. Just want to call them out because this is insane thing to say. Twitter basically forced me to hear about this Austin McBroom nonsense. So in my opinion, I feel like he didn't essay anybody. If millions of people follow and subscribe to him, why would someone who's rich, famous, and loved by idiots have to essay anybody? But I do believe he cheats. Hey, smooth finish B. I don't know if you've heard about this before, but essay isn't because you can't get with somebody. That's your problem. You know who else was rich, famous, and loved? R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, Kevin Spacey, etc, 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 etc. Now I bring that up because if I didn't bring it up, I guarantee people will be talking about it in the comments. And I just want to say, you know, the situation is very muddy. And again, Leslie herself said that Austin McBroom is not to blame. However, shortly after that, another person posted this on their Instagram and Leslie liked it and commented, thank you. I'm going to read it to you. The next thing I remember is looking up and Austin's dad, Alan, is there. And I'm seeing him unbuckle his pants, pull down his pants and pull out his 
wiener eggplant in front of my face, basically wanting me to suck his eggplant. I remember I did not because Austin's security guard ended up walking in after the dad walked in. At that point, I remember just getting up from the bed and walking into the bedroom to see what the other girl was up to. And all of a sudden I hear yelling no and screaming and crying. So yes, the victim herself said that Austin is not to blame in this. The victim then liked and commented on this post, which doesn't blame Austin to be clear, but does mention his dad. And in a situation where Austin was also like in some, like, you know what I mean? It is a very muddy situation. And when there's that amount of gray area around a situation like this, I don't necessarily want to see somebody posting on Snapchat like this. <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. I'm gonna hug her. We're gonna become best friends. And what if I told you that this is not the worst? I, I don't even want to put like a scale of things because we don't even know. Like this is a muddied gray area situation. Like we don't know. We truly don't know. But from what we know right now, it's so muddied and unclear. And there's these intentions that are coming from third parties and like extortion, blackmailing, trying to get paid out of this from other people's victim story. Like it's a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. But Austin McBroom has filmed and posted evidence of him being, I don't know if I can say the word without him sending me a threat letter. Do you know what I mean? I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. I honestly don't even know how much of this I can show you. I'll be working out too. My shit getting fat. My shit getting fat. Yeah, lights. Bulb. God, I can't. All I got to say. Austin awesome. just started working out, by the way. Can you guys tell? Now, I'm going to describe to you. Well, you know what happened. That's his daughter. Uh, They're sitting there. He's slapping his own butt. Then his daughter stands up and he spanks her while saying, oh, God, I can't. Bulb. God, I can't. He did that to his daughter's butt and then said, oh God, I can't. So do you see what I mean when I say that these Snapchat videos where he's trying to be a reaction meme? They make me sick to my stomach because I know that this is who he is. And he's acting like he's some 17 year old streamer. He's acting like he's fucking speed. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's so good. I'd like to have another sip of that. 31 years old, doing stuff like that because he wants people to clip him and put him on Twitter. Are you kidding me? All you can drink lemonade. All you can drink horchata. Grow up, you're 31 years old. 31 and who you are as a person is somebody who has done that then said oh god i can't to their young 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 daughter you see what the word that i probably want to say is but i'm not going to say it because that's a very extreme thing to say that's a very extreme thing to say but you know what another very extreme thing to do is is to go like that to your daughter and then say oh my god i can't and then post it online for anybody to see Anybody can see that. You are letting your daughter be seen in that way by anybody. That's funny to you? That's like, oh, that's a funny meme. That's a crazy thing to do. That's zany. No, that's fucking disgusting and you suck. Now, what if I told you that even that is not the worst thing that he has done, filmed and posted with a young, 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 young girl? You'd say there's no way. You'd say that's terrible enough. But what if I told you that he took his young niece to an adult store and got her a fun show? shaped lollipop and then was encouraging her to take it out and like you know use it in an it like yes yes what i yes he literally did that filmed it and posted it the defense is oh it's so funny because he's acting like sh the little girl doesn't know she's so innocent she doesn't know but we the adults we really know yeah you know who can watch that video of that little girl holding a rainbow lollipop that's shaped like a body part. Do you see what I'm saying? Anybody can watch that. There's a lot of anybody's online and I personally don't find that funny and I personally don't think that anybody who has done that can post reaction meme bait on Snapchat and just continue their career. Let me show you the video. What are you trying to get to? You love what? Oh God. <laughs> you don't need that. Now obviously it's pixelated but I'm going to describe to you what is happening. There is a little girl who looks to be about like five to six years old who is standing Ending, holding onto a shelf trying to grab a lollipop that's about this big rainbow colored and it's in an adult shop so you know what it's shaped like and listen to how he's talking what are you trying to get to lollipops. you love what love oh god <laughs> you're gonna hear him talk like that throughout this entire video this is what happened and in my objective opinion watching this what i see this as is him encouraging a specific response from this young girl what did you say oh my god guys you see this little girl you see what she's doing guys isn't that so crazy come on tap subscribe guys it's a joke to him that anybody could be watching these videos do you know who the fuck could be watching these videos? like that's your niece that's like any little like it doesn't it doesn't matter oh my god it goes on for another minute 10 seconds like okay show Catherine what you have in your hand show Catherine 
sure. She said it's a lollipop. <laughs> In that video, you can hear him laughing, encouraging it. Show Catherine, show Catherine. Ha 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 ha. And it's pixelated, so you don't have to see this, but she's holding it up like this, and then she acts like she's licking it. Do you understand what you're doing? Like, what the fuck are you doing? This is a little girl who is completely innocent. She has no idea what the fuck she's doing. So you, as an adult, as the guardian, as the caretaker in this situation, you actually need to step up and be a fucking adult. But you can't, because you see how crazy this is. You see how this is great content. It's disgusting. Thing, and he should have been banned off of Snapchat for this because that's where it's posted. Snapchat, I hate you so much. The fact that you didn't ban him for this, the fact that your entire platform is, but I don't even, okay. Snapchat is the shadiest, scummiest social media site out there for obvious reasons. And then also I have personal beef with them. Just real quick. I signed up to be a part of the Snapchat thing like two, three years ago. I got paid, I think $80 a day if I posted two Snapchat spotlights. That's how anybody posted on that dog shit fucking app because they had to pay people $40 per video. Stupid ass app. And my videos started to blow up. They started to get a lot of views, millions of views. Sometimes. Then I found out from other friends on social media that they were making hundreds of thousands of dollars by getting millions of views on these Snapchat spotlights. And I said, are you fucking kidding me? Nobody told me that you could get paid like that from this. Why am I only getting $80 a day for two fucking videos that are getting millions of views? So I reached out to my contact and they said, oh yeah, because you're in this program that pays you $80 a day, you're not eligible for that. So I said, get me out of the fucking program. So I got out of the fucking program, posted multiple videos. They had hundreds of thousands of views. A couple had over a million views. I got notified that I qualified to get paid for that video in this big program. I've got millions of views on these videos. I've been out of the program. I'm eligible. I never got paid. Never got paid. I was making no money on TikTok. I was running out of money for rent. So I go back to the program that I had been in before. Say I want to sign back up. I do. Come to find out they never actually removed me from the program, which I had confirmation that they removed me from it. But they never internally removed me and made me eligible. So these millions of views I've been getting, which could be according to the influencers around me, worth tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, I was getting paid nothing for. And not only that, while I was still in this program and ineligible for that, I wasn't getting paid what I was in the program. So I was in the program, not getting paid to be in the program, but also not eligible for the money that I was deserved. And I emailed them and I fought for this and I kept going back and I kept going back and I kept going back and they just gave me the runaround and never paid me anything. And because I had no power, I had no influence. I was an influencer with absolutely no power at all. And I cannot imagine how many other people that has happened to. So Snapchat, a message to you. Literally, I could come after you for that money that I'm owed, but I don't want to do that. Instead, I want you to not pay me and just ban Austin McBroom from your platform because he is a disgusting fucking freak. Let's go back to the video because this video was posted on the platform with, as far as I can see, no consequences. Let's continue. Are you really making me buy this lollipop right now? You really want it? Yeah. Oh God. Put that in a bag right now. <laughs> Keep that in the bag forever. Do not show that to anybody, okay? Okay. That's your little secret. <laughs> That's your little secret. Keep this secret. That's what you're saying as you hand a literal shaped lollipop to your very young niece. That's what we're doing. That's the situation. Oh my God. I can't believe the six-year-old girl that I'm responsible for right now is making me buy her this very inappropriate product. God, stop it. Delete your account, leave social media, and start teaching YMCA fitness classes like Gabby Hanna. By the way, Gabby Hanna is a legend for doing that. Guys, I'm in so much trouble. But she said she was gonna steal it if I didn't buy it, so better me buy it. <laughs> yeah, that little girl was definitely gonna steal it if you didn't buy it. You had to buy it and post it online. You had to. You couldn't just put it back up where you got it from out of her reach. You couldn't do that, could you? You got it for her. I'm not gonna say this for certain, but to me, it really feels like, especially the rest of this video, it feels like Austin is encouraging her to say and do certain things for the entertainment value. It seems like somebody talking to a little kid in that way. Also, I am not saying or claiming or alleging anything that is not publicly posted video that he himself has made public. So Austin, do not send me a letter for talking about things that you yourself posted online publicly. I'm just talking about what I'm seeing with my own two eyes that you posted out there. And yes, in my personal opinion, I don't think that you should be on Snapchat anymore. Don't show nobody that lollipop, okay? Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Put that away. Put that lollipop away. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. It feels like he is encouraging the situation to happen because there's one clip where he says, promise me you'll never show that to anybody. They're standing still. She's reaching into her bag and then he says, come on, let's go. To me, in my opinion, in my opinion, I'm not saying this is a fact. Austin, you can't send me a letter if I'm just saying my opinion because as somebody who has worked with young child actors, I know what it's like to get a child actor to act. I understand what it's like. And for somebody who is not skilled, for somebody who is just doing this on the fly, I 
I can see an argument, and in my personal opinion, it feels like before you started recording that second clip, you might have said, hey, for this one, it'd be so funny if you just pulled that lollipop out and we're like, nah, 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 like just fun with it. Like just pull it out. I'm gonna say don't, but just pull it out. It's totally okay. I don't know if that's what happened. I'm not saying that that's for sure what happened. I don't have access to the tapes. But the cut in the video and how this is filmed, it kind of feels a little bit forced, a little bit faked, a little bit scripted in the way that you can script things with a young child actor who you are actively exploiting in an inappropriate way. That's true. Exploit, use a situation or person in an unfair or selfish way. So yeah, I think we can say that he is inappropriately exploiting this young girl. That's what it feels like to me as I watch this. I don't know that for a fact. Maybe this young girl is just acting like a bad child actor. But Austin McBroom's history on social media and the way that he obviously scripts and fakes and exaggerates things on his Snapchat now, it does seem a little bit like not that far of a stretch. Doesn't seem like that far of a stretch. Not a big stretch to say that. A fully reasonable conclusion to come to while watching this video objectively. I know you're so mad that you can't send me a threatening legal letter to take this video down. But the thing is, I'm just saying what I'm seeing and using words that are describing what I'm seeing. <laughs> Even if he's not scripting it, the way that he's <laughs> While filming it, that's what this hand's doing. It's, by the way, it's filming. Don't laugh! Yeah, that's really gonna tell your very young niece not to continue doing what she's doing. That's not encouraging her to do that at all. You stupid fucking idiot. You gross fucking freak. I'm not gonna lie, Catherine's sister is a savage. What do you. Oh my god, I gotta go. I'm leaving. What we see in that video is the little girl with it in the background of his video. Oh my god. Oh my god, As I'm I currently got, sitting here. It's shut the fuck up, Cody. Sorry, Cody, I would never say that. Cody, you are the godfather, Cody. Cody, I apologize. Cody, Cody, Cody please, Cody, please. Sorry, not trying to do a complete 180. Anyways, do you see why I feel a little bit uncomfortable when he's online going, McDonald's? You don't want to take me to McDonald's? Taylor Swift is going to be there. And then girls are posting it on TikTok saying, Me when my man won't buy me what I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess you could totally say that this is me when my man won't buy me McDonald's. <laughs> All the comments, Austin McBroom's Snapchat is literally so me. It's so funny. Oh my God, he's literally so relatable. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I can't stop watching it. It's the only thing getting me through 2024. Austin McBroom 2024 is the greatest. Shut up. Oh my God, shut up. When I see those comments, you know what I think? Shut up. Because this is who he is. This is who you are saying that about. A 31 year old man who has inappropriately exploited young girls, or at least one. Maybe when he did that to his daughter's butt and then said, oh God, I can't. Maybe I'm just misinterpreting how uncomfortable that is. At the very, very, very least, his only argument for this is that he is so dumb, he is accidentally posting young girls online for anybody to view in that way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? At best, he's not to be trusted with a camera, access to Wi-Fi, and a young girl in his vicinity because he apparently doesn't know what is inappropriate to be showing online of a young girl. That's at best. At worst, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to be Cobby lame right now, but. And here's the thing, if you did not know about this, and you're seeing these Austin McBroom videos and you're like, oh my God, that's so funny. I'm not mad at you. But now that you've seen this video, oh my God, you have no excuse to continue to support this guy. For real, you just don't, you just don't. By the way, I haven't even brought up that he had a charity basketball game where he brought a bunch of big celebrities, sold out, I believe the Staples Center. God, where are the pixels in this picture? But uh, they gave $100,000 to charity. That's what they gave after selling out the Staples Center. Yeah, they sold out the Staples Center, 21,000 tickets. Yeah, and by the way, annual charity basketball event. Sold it out, the Staples Center, 21,000 tickets, and they only donated $100,000. Now you might be asking yourself, does selling out the Staples Center only give you $100,000? Also, why is it such a round number? And also, why was it presented on the court if it's a charity basketball game don't all the profits from the ticket sales go to the charity if it's a charity event i would assume that the money i'm spending isn't going into any pockets other than paying the costs of the event and then the rest going to charity i'm not saying he stole the money i'm just saying that it's interesting maybe i'm wrong here you can comment and tell me that i'm wrong about this but i just have questions about like is it possible that a hundred thousand dollars was all of the profit? I find that hard to believe personally, but I'm willing to believe it. And guess what? Even if there isn't anything scammy about this, the other stuff that I talked about before, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. So long story short, Austin McBroom cheated on his wife a lot, allegedly, and 
seemingly confirmed by a lot of people. Also, they got divorced. There is a situation that has very muddy waters around victims, SA, and a group that included Austin McBroom, although Austin has been fully exonerated from one person's testimony who was the main victim in the situation. So he's not in the wrong in that situation, I guess. Although the waters were very muddied after the fact about like his dad and like the whole thing is just not, not good, not good. And Cole Kerrigan, the guy who made that video, is a exploitative loser who's taking victim stories and trying to make a profit for himself. Clout goblin loser fuck. So we don't really know what that situation is because Cole Kerrigan is in, again, clout goblin loser fuck. If it was just that, I could say, you know what? I can see that there's a reasonable case for people to just still think that he's moved past the cheating, think that he didn't do anything wrong, that everything's worked out. Like I can see a world where you could then still support him. I could see that. I wouldn't be making this video if it was just that. That's all I'll say. I wouldn't personally support him. That's all I'll just say. What I can't say is the video of his daughter and the video of his niece. I can't say that it's okay to support him after knowing about that. I can't, I can't. There's no world where I could ever do that, and I hope that you can. And yet he's on Snapchat as a grown 31-year-old man acting like a 17-year-old streamer trying to get reaction clips. All you can drink lemonade, all you can drink horchata. And people are eating it up, saying, he's so relatable, he's so me, he's so baby girl, he's so, he's so cute. Hey, dumbass, stop gassing this man up. This man should not be on platforms. This man should not be able to post on Snapchat after what he's done on Snapchat. In my opinion, I'm not saying anything Thing. Like, I'm not gonna, ext I'm not extorting anybody. I'm not doing anything. I'm not, I'm not. I know you have a propensity to send threatening legal letters. I understand. But off of the publicly available information that I can objectively look at and give my personal opinion on of the videos that he himself has posted, I can say that he is a scummy little piece of shit. But hey. That's me. So that's me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I swear to God, I'm gonna grow this hair back. I swear to God. I know that you've been looking at this whole video going, really? Is this is this really the lifestyle you wanna have? No, it's not. You know the pictures I showed this hairstylist? These, these, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I showed them. This is what I wanted. And she said, oh, so you want a little trim? Okay, how about I change your entire fucking hairstyle? It's fine though. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? I still look not I, I just don't look the same. I don't. It's fine. It's fine. But this is not me making a decision of ah, new era. No. The second it can grow back out, I'm growing it back out.